because to me, learning is a transfer of knowledge from the people that have it to the people that want it because they want to use it. So transfer is what learning is to me. You know, lifelong learning has, um, has really actually expanded what I do at the Global Village uh, and at the Iacocca Institute. Lifelong learning is people who have an intense need to get back together and reconnected with people that are involved in business. And so we started this Global Village on the Move program now back in 2000. I just came back from Russia a couple months ago, and I'm on my way to India next year, and after that I'm on my way to Luxembourg, and before I was in Russia we were in China. And these are my young graduates who are now 10 years older all around the world, and they're reconnecting because they believe that lifelong learning is really important. So they're now coming back, and they want to reconnect on how to do business in these countries, and more importantly, they want to reconnect with some of their colleagues that were in training with them. And I believe that's what lifelong learning is. I recently had to do a talk in Luxembourg and they picked the topic for the Chamber of Commerce. And this was about disruptive leaders. So I had to do some research and I learned something about disruptive leaders and I, I studied Steve Jobs and currently Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. And um, I learned a lot about their style of leadership. Now they're brilliant guys. Uh, Jobs, of course, is now dead. And they changed everybody's industry. I mean, Jobs changed the music industry, computer industry. And we certainly know that he completely changed the way we look at our handheld phones, much to the demise, if you would believe, of uh, Blackberry and Nokia, right? And Elon Musk is changing the electric car industry, and so, so is Bezos, right? These guys were brilliant, and they were disruptive because they saw a technology and a market that nobody else saw in that way. That's the good news. The other thing that I learned, though, is that their style of leadership is, is really, really non-collaborative. These guys are so brilliant. If you study about them, you realize that I, I'm trying to make people be collaborative and they're not really very collaborative guys. If you're not on the same page with them, um, it's very, very difficult to work for them. So that's what I learned recently. Who, who's a disruptive leader? What are their good traits and what are their bad traits? Hi, I'm Russell Sauter, Chairman and CEO of Netcom Learning. Netcom Learning's purpose is to promote the values of lifelong learning. The moment we think we know it all, we stop growing. Develop the passion for learning. Be a lifelong learner.